Listen, look, look, look how God is positioning him for the position. He says, I'm going to do you up so that there's never been a king before you and there won't be another one after you. Because I'm going to bless you with riches. I'm going to give you long life. Yes. I'm going to take care of your enemies. And I come to tell you that if you let God position you for the position, God will take care of you. Anybody know God will take care of you? But you got to let God, listen, 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 the battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. And listen, if you take care of God's business, God will take care of your business. Be not dismayed. Whatever betides you, God will take care of you. And whatever position that God has placed you in, you ought to know that God will take care of you. I heard the writer say, we know that all things work together for good to them who love God and to them who are called according to God's purpose. And God took good care of Solomon. And I come to tell you, if you want God to take care of you, you got to learn how to tell God it's bigger than I. Uh, God, this trouble that I'm dealing with is bigger than I am. God, this sickness that I'm dealing with is bigger than I am. God, my enemies, they are more than I am. And tell the Lord, if you don't help me, I won't be able to stand the test.
forward, but I, I just kind of like it. I just kind of, I just kind of like it. I just kind of like it. I, I went to the Volkswagen dealership. Went to the used car lot section, and I bought a Toyota Celica. It was a five-speed. That baby could get up and go. And she stopped on me. On 2222. So I called the tow truck. I called Volkswagen. I called Volkswagen dealership and got them to tow my car in. Then I get a phone call and say, Mr. Man, uh, you had your car towed here yeah. to us. And I said, yeah, something wrong with it. It stopped on me. He said, uh, Mr. Man, we, we work on Volkswagens. Yeah. We don't know how to work on Toyotas. I said, but I bought it from y'all. He said, somebody traded it in. You don't need to tow it to a Toyota dealership. And I'm afraid yeah. that some of the position God put us in, yeah. we going to the wrong dealer. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. All right. Until you go to your maker, yeah. Yeah. your creator, yeah. your business ain't going to ever get straight. I had to pay, y'all want y'all to hear me, I had to pay for that towing to a place that couldn't help me. Oh, I, just yeah, yeah. I, just, I, just, I just said something, because some of y'all are paying for stuff that ain't helping you. Yeah. All right. All right. Can't help you. God has positioned every, I mean for real, every last one of us. Whatever that position is, whatever it is. Some of us got two or three positions. God put you there. Yeah. Some of y'all got jobs that you shouldn't even have. Right. But God put you there. Yeah. Yeah. And so you ought to admit that it's greater than you. Right. Then ask God for wisdom and not love. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's easy to get a job. But it's trouble trying to keep it. Right. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. It's, it's trouble trying to keep the job. And then, then if you if you go to God right, He'll position you yeah. for the position. Yes. See, everybody, 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 everybody can't handle. Everybody can't handle money like Ira and David. <laughs> right. Right. Preaching down. <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I can't handle But God keep blessing them in their position. And I should have got two or three more amen so they'd have been a blessing. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know why some of y'all ain't saying that because y'all ain't paying them back. But I, I'm just saying. <laughs> but they maintain their position because they not caught up in the position. Right. 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 They know what they have came from God. They understand the blessing business. You want a blessing, be a blessing. Right. Right. And so God is saying, I, I put you in some position. I put you in some position. I'm just, I'm just going out there now. I'm already out there. I might as well just stay out there. Yeah. God didn't position you to only come to church on holidays. Right. All right. All right. Uh oh. Right. Yeah. He's been too good to you. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He, he been too good to, yeah. to you. God, God didn't just position you to only show up when you get in trouble. Right. Right. Amen, somebody. Some of y'all, you know, I, 
You know, uh, I thank God for the position, but you know, some of y'all ain't been here in a while, and then you come and start up, and, and then I can't nobody else talk to me after church is over because you want me to know all about the trauma going on with you, and you want me to pray for you and all that kind of stuff. You can pray for yourself. All right. All right. 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 Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Yeah. For real. Yeah, for real. I wish I knew somebody in here that 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 would admit that God answers your prayer. I wish. Yeah. I because if you have a relationship with it, if you have a relationship with it, you ain't got to ask nobody to pray for you. You already got to Yeah. God, God is not, God does not, he does not put us, uh, you, you good looking men, you good looking robust men, God didn't position you for all the women. <laughs> He that findeth a wife, not wives. Okay, made up. Findeth a good. Am I, that's in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, in, that's in the Bible. It, it, uh, God position you. God, you women, quit using your beauty. Mm. Amen. To get it. Amen. 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 Quit using your shape to get him. Amen. 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 I wish I could say something else about that. <laughs> Milk all now be free. Right. 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 All right. Let's go. All right. God position you. Ask God for wisdom. Yeah. And knowledge, how to handle it. If you got the right shape, you got the right you ask God how to handle it. Right. Yeah. Because if you live long enough, shape will leave. Yes, yeah. And if that's all he was after, he gone too. All right. Y'all know what I always say. I used to be young and good looking. Uh, I'm just good looking now. That's all. It, it, it leaves you. It, it, it leaves you. God. And so you gotta ask God. And then watch God position you for. Yeah. God will bless you right there. Wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Listen, you ain't got to be the manager or supervisor to be blessed. Right, Amen. right, right. Amen. Yeah. I've seen some supervisors wonder how could you afford that car? Yeah. Because they know how much money you make. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hello, somebody. They, 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 they know they ain't gave you a raise. They keep looking over you. And why is it that you driving? Yeah. yeah. A new car. Yeah. It's because God will position you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. And so somebody's up in here. God has positioned you to be here today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And God didn't position you to be here today just because it's Father's Day. He positioned you to be here today because he wanted to talk to you. Amen. All right. Right. All right. God wants a relationship with you. Yeah. God, God, God wants a relationship with you. Uh, God wants you to understand that time that knows you now won't know you after a while. God wants you to know that you're going to die. But after death comes the judgment. And, and God ain't going to understand why you didn't position yourself. Because you had the opportunity, you had the chance. And you say, when do it? Uh, February, no. <laughs> June the 19th, 2016. You were at 501 Blackson Avenue. Right. Austin, Texas, St. John area. Yeah, under the pastorage of the great Reverend Dr. <laughs> Melvin S. Man the Senior. Who extended 
the privilege of the church unto you, inviting you to come have a relationship with me. Not real man, but a relationship with Jesus. And the best Father's Day gift is to go to the Heavenly Father. Yes. If you're here today and you have a you don't have a church home, today is your day. You can come by letter, Christian experience, candidate for that. I know, I know you you came today and you weren't expecting to come tomorrow, but God been tugging at your heart. Amen. And the only reason he's tugging at your heart is because he wants a relationship with you. Yeah. Every last one of us, he died for us. Yeah. And if you're here and you don't have a church, or maybe you've been straying away and you need to come back. Recommit, rededicate your life to God. Amen. And we ain't going to even sing a song because we're so interested in your soul. Right. Some man, some woman, huh? some boy, some yeah. girl is sitting up in here right yeah. now right. and you and the Lord don't have a relationship. I know maybe you're sitting up in there saying, well, Rev, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Rev, I don't know if the Lord will accept me because I've done this and I've done that. Look around. Look at all these people up in here. All of us got a story. Right. Right. All of us got a story. Right. Some of us, our story could make a good movie. Right. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. I heard that's a sequel. I heard that. I heard that. A sequel. So yeah. 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 Well, I got a part one, two, three. And uh, I ain't even on the final episode yet. Right. But if you hear and you and God are not on the same page, I want to afford you an opportunity right now. Just get up out of your seat. Somebody say, but Rev, I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to say. Your walk will be your talk. Amen. All right. You don't have a... I, I know you say, well, Rev, I'm not even sure if this is the church I want to be at. We'll help you get All right. to the church. We just want you to come to Jesus. Yes. All right. And if you wait on, I'm, I'm going to come when I get straight. You'll never get straight. Oh, no. All right. Because you can't get straight outside of him. All right. Stop trying not to look at me. I'm talking to you. God is talking to you and you know he's yeah. talking to you. Yeah. Listen, you either going to hell or you going to hell. Ain't no in between. Ain't no when I die, I'm done. No, if you don't know the Lord, you die, you burning up. The Bible said there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Don't let this opportunity pass. Why don't you just come on, come on, come on, come on. Accept the Father into your life before it's too late. Come on, come on. Recommit yourself to God before it's too late. I can't make any promises you're going to be here next Sunday. I can't even tell you I'm going to be here next Sunday. All I got is right now and so do you. And you ought to just come. Position yourself so you can go to hell. He's coming back after the church after the body of believers and you need to be a part of that I'm going to pray and give you a few more seconds
at the time. God our Father, some man, some woman, some boy, some girl is sitting here and they don't know you in the pardon of their sin. But this day they are sitting in your house. <coughs> Touch their hearts. Their minds. And their souls right now in the name of Jesus. And allow them to draw near to you. They need to make a decision, God, <coughs> that will affect them eternally. Mm -hmm. Satan, so once again, we rebuke you. Thank you, Lord. And we say, loose them Thank you, Lord. and let them go. Thank you, Lord. Because God has a position for them mm -hmm. that they need to step into. So God, if they're weak, give them strength. Give them comfort in making that right decision with you. You already been speaking to them before today. Today you have just been confirming what you've been saying to them. already. God, we're doing what you commissioned us to do. Yes. And now rest on them. And so we put them in your hands. We end this prayer lifting them up to you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody else go first, then I'll come. <coughs> it's coming up again. Yeah. God gonna say, I sent somebody. Yeah. And you still didn't come. <coughs> I need you to come. Somebody say, Rev, you sure taking a long time today. Somebody's soul is at stake. Yeah. Somebody's soul is at stake. And I want you to get it right. Listen, I'm not asking you to come and be perfect. All right. Because I would be asking you to come to be something that we ain't. Right. 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 Uh -huh. right. None of us up in here is perfect. Right. None of us right. is perfect. God is still working on us. And if you hear, and if you come, God will not be asking you to be perfect. God will work on you. Mm -hmm. And I, I wish somebody would agree with me right here. Um, I have some good days. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, anybody think I'm good, I'm yeah. good, I'm good. Yeah. Sometimes I'm so good, I pat myself yeah. on the back. <laughs> but then sometimes. Yeah. 
Sit down, bust it. I'll be ashamed. You done said something? Put somebody in their place? Not God's way. But my way. And if I'm pretty good at the moment, then I have to repent. Turn back to God. And so if you're here, if you're here, we still want you to come.